The loud sounds of children singing, dancing and learning come from Anshu's home in Nepal Ganj, a city in southwest Nepal. But these are not her children. They are children from the urban slums who would otherwise be spending time working in factories, fields or shops. Now they come and spend two hours every day with Anshu at the non-formal education classes that she runs for children that are out of school. Many of them are child labourers. The out-of-school programme is run with support from UNICEF in collaboration with the government. Anshu is an agent of change. She goes from house to house looking for children who may have dropped out of school either because they are forced into child labour or simply because their parents can't afford to pay for their education. After spending a few months in these classes, many children are reintegrated into local schools where they enrol in formal education. Nearly 40% of Nepal's children work for a living, with 20% working as child labourers and 7% known to work in hazardous conditions. The after school programme helps these children bridge the gap and makes their transition to formal education easier by providing them with basic reading, writing and mathematics skills. Another important component of the programme is teaching children life skills. These skills help to strengthen their self-esteem and enable them to better deal with challenges in their daily lives. I visit homes and meet children and every parent to see if their children are attending school. If they are not in school, I ask them why. But then they ask us, why should we send our children to class? I tried to convince them, saying that children receive stationaries like notebooks and books free of charge, so they should send their children to out-of-school program. I convinced them that all parents need to send their children to school. Children need to be educated. It takes a lot of effort to convince them. 16-year-old Asha came to Anshu as a domestic worker. She is now in grade 8 at a local government school. Asha is what Anshu would call a success story. The young girl at the tender age of nine came to the city in search of work. She earned money doing household chores like washing utensils, sweeping floors and cooking food. Today, the 16-year-old still works as a part-time domestic worker but spends most of her time in school. This is something she could never have imagined possible a few years ago. The out-of-school program was nice. Through it, I came to understand the importance of education and was convinced that it is beneficial for me. Then I got the opportunity to join formal school. After entering school, I was very happy because it was interesting. I now know that if I have a good education, I can have a good job and my future will be safe. That is why I wish to continue my education. Nepal has seen a significant increase in children enrolling in primary school. According to the government, primary enrollment is now at 95%. This is a 10% increase in 10 years. In addition to securing access to education for children who are still out of school like Asha, one of the main challenges now is to ensure that children stay in school. There are many factors why children stop coming to school. One of the reasons is teachers' absenteeism, which is exacerbated by inaccessibility due to the difficult terrain, isolation and lack of teachers' training. This means, at times for weeks, children are deprived of regular classes and have to rely on each other for studying. Shortage of well-trained teachers coupled with poor infrastructure mean that even when classes are held, the quality of education is often far from being child-friendly. When a school is not child-friendly, it becomes easier for children to drop out. In Nepal, lots of progress has been made in terms of access to education, but there are still many out-of-school children, children from lower quintiles, those in remote areas, those with disabilities, girls, they all face problems regarding access to education. Also, quality of education is another issue. Uh, lack of materials, uh, insufficient teacher training, all these hinder the quality of education. 
UNICEF has been working with the government of Nepal to ensure that all children get an opportunity to be educated in formal or non-formal settings. This means ensuring that all children, including the hard-to-reach ones like Asha, are brought into the fold of education. It means improving the quality of education through child-friendly teaching learning. It means strengthening education systems through training of teachers and facilitators like Anshu, as well as providing support for disadvantaged schools. And it also means catching the children at an earlier preschool stage by expanding and improving their early childhood development opportunities. All of this means the development of a new culture, a strong system that is focused on ensuring that no child is left in the shadow of illiteracy.